Hello at 426 Golf Course. It's Wednesday, July 13th, 2022, and I'm going to be heading on downstairs for uh, the basement and utilities move-in walkthrough. As we come downstairs, the door right here uh, has a lot of marks on it. There's also a cat door installed right there. As we come downstairs, the uh, walls here definitely have a lot of marks present uh, kind of throughout. Lots of marks. Um, floor, stairs, and banisters are also showing some pretty heavy wear and tear. But again, they are uh, all working. Just showing some wear and tear, so no problems there. And here we are in the basement. So the basement, it is an unfinished basement, as you can see. The walls are, um, walls are looking good. They are dry and um, dry and no issues there. Uh, right here, we're going to have our breaker box. Uh, we're also going to have the cable box right here. There's a lot of kind of cable connections uh, throughout throughout the basement down here. The windows here, um, they're very, very worn. I do not think they open and close. Um, so I just wanted to note that down. Over here, we're gonna have a dehumidifier. So this dehumidifier must be kept running at all times. Um, I just checked it, all the settings are fine, so it must be kept running. It will drain automatically over there into the sump pump. Please make sure that, uh, please check that every couple weeks, make sure it is still going. Right over here in the corner, we have a uh, utility sink, as you can see. So the utility sink is showing some pretty heavy wear, but that's okay, it's just a utility sink. Sump pump pit is right there in the corner as well. Right here is going to be the HVAC system and the hot water heater. And we got a couple fireplace tools and some extra white shelves right here. But other than that, the basement's looking pretty good. Again, all the walls look fine. The floors here are uh, have some pretty just kind of standard marks on them. There's kind of a hopscotch um, play area right here that's put down. And also please notice that there is some red tape around the perimeter of the wall here. Please do not push any items over the red tape. Do not store anything in between the red tape and the wall. All items need to be pulled about a, a foot or two away from the wall and stored like that. Please do not push anything all the way up against the wall. And again, floor just kind of has some standard marks on it. A couple utility items right here is going to be the main water shutoff. It is labeled. That's going to be for the main water. Here's going to be the front hose bib shutoff. It is currently turned off. And the rear hose bib shutoff is going to be right over here above the utility sink. As you can see, also labeled. Both the hose bibs are currently turned off. Feel free to turn them back on, but they do need to be turned back off again before we get freezing temperatures. The HVAC is working, no problems there. The air filter is going to be right here behind this panel. I'm going to pull it down. 20 by 20 by 4. I just put that in today, so that'll be good for about uh, four months. Uh, please make sure you change that after about four months. And please do not lean any items up against the hot water heater or the HVAC system. Do not put anything on top of the sump pump pit. That'd be great. All right, other than that, everything's looking good down here in the basement. No problems here. All right, that'll conclude the interior move and walkthrough for 426 Golf Course. Thank you very much.